do models get to keep the clothes that they model in? We'll find out. What's up, people? If you're new here, my name is Chooks, and welcome. If you're a returning customer, welcome back. Let's just get right into the story time. I used to be a professional athlete. I played professional basketball, and on the side, I have like a little side hustle. I used to do some sports modeling because why not take advantage, you know? So I got this big opportunity to be in this big TV commercial. I was really excited. I went down there. I got told it's like a two to three day shoot. They give me a whole bunch of stuff to wear and it was actually really tough. We had to learn this dance routine out in the cold. It was crazy. So I'm working the whole day, doing my dance routine, you know what I mean, getting it off. And at the end of the day, this lady comes with a clipboard and it's like, um, you need to return all the clothes. And, and she has like a list, all the clothes that they've given us. I'm like, damn, that's crazy. So I'm taking off all the clothes and I'm thinking, surely they don't want my socks. I didn't want to put on my old socks, you know? Like you don't want to put on a not fresh pair of socks. Socks is underwear. You don't ask for socks back. Isn't that illegal or something? So I'm just thinking, I'm just gonna keep these socks on. There was just some any socks. They weren't even like branded. Boom. I go home with the socks, everything's cool. The next day I show up, right before like we start working, I'm sitting in a group with the rest of the models and the woman comes back with a clipboard. I'm thinking, why is she coming over here? She comes up to me and says, you need to give back the socks. Yeah, I'm looking around like, wait, what? Socks, like yeah, you didn't give back the socks yesterday. I'm thinking, oh man, if I knew, I would have just gave them back. I didn't know they wanted them back, do you know what I mean? And you know, I could feel it getting like this weird awkwardness in the air, you know? And uh, this one guy just tries to break the tension with a joke. And he's like, oh, man like double S. I'm like, what? He's like, yeah, sock stealer. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that's uncalled for. You know, that's not, that's not funny, but you know, at the time I just had to laugh it off because I wasn't in a position of power to be making my own jokes, really. So I took that loss, I took that L, cool. So it comes to the end of the day and I need to go, but I don't want to miss the last train. So I go back to the area where we all left our stuff and the double S joke guy is there. He's there with the woman with the clipboard saying, I, I don't know where my shoe is. They look at me, I'm just thinking like, they think it's me, isn't it? They must think I've upgraded my criminal activities to the level of shoe stealer. You know, I just want to leave there, but I don't want them to think that I'm leaving in a rush because I stole man's shoe. So I kind of just be like, oh, wow, what, where is it? Oh, where's your shoe, man? Oh, where'd you last leave it? You know them questions, they, you know, <laughs> them useless questions. Where did you last see it? They, they're looking at me suspicious, so I just kind of like open my bag and like, oh look, you can check my bag. Like, maybe it got in there somehow. Oh, no, no. And they're like, oh no, 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 it's okay, whatever. And I'm just like, okay, cool, boom. <laughs> Dust, running for the train, rummaging through my bag, trying to look for my ticket. Man, shoe just was in there. I'm thinking, oh, no way. I didn't know what to do. I couldn't really, I didn't want to like go back. So I just, I left that at the entrance. Boom, made the train. Um, so long story short, yeah, models, you don't usually get to keep the clothes. End of story. 